This is Lindsay Wittenberg with Lindsay's Art Cart, and this is my lovely assistant, Jared Wittenberg. He happens to be my husband, and he's joining us this evening on our date night in. Who's excited? I am. This guy. Ooh, yeah. So in this month's box, we are going to be tackling string art. <laughs> So let's go with the snowflake. We're going to tackle the trickier of the two. So when you begin, you're going to find this really cool template, and we are going to place it right in the center of our wooden plaque, okay? So the cool thing is you've got this template here. But all the hard stuff is already figured out for you. So what I recommend doing is starting in the center. If you want to tape the template onto the plaque you can. It might make things easier. I say don't stress too much about it. This guy would probably say tape it because he's an engineer. Once you get a couple of the nails in there though, the nails are going to hold the template in place anyway. So When you're hammering the nails in, you want to go about halfway through the wood so that you can still wrap the string around each nail. Okay, and this is where you guys can like work as a couple and a team. One can hold and the other can start nailing these holes. Okay, so once you've gotten all of your nails into your board, then we're going to peel away the paper to reveal our design and nails. So if you want to do it a little bit, um, move it a little bit closer. Um, if you want to try to preserve the design, just don't rip it like my four-year-old. Um, just gently kind of pull away. We don't want any um, of the... We the nails to, keep, to come out. Yeah, we try to, and we'll try to keep the uh, the piece of paper together. That way, you can see the design. And yeah, refer to it's it. just going to make your life a little easier when we start with the string because, as you can see, now that we have all of the nails on there without the template, it's a lot of crazy, right? So we're going to make some sense out of this, and we're going to put our paper next to it, and then we're going to get our string. Okay. Got the string ready for you. Okay, so here's a little tip. I would tie a knot before even trying to tackle the nails. So find a point, do like a little loop-de-loop -loop with, like so, and then go to the end, and then we're just going to pull it tight, okay? And then cool. we're going to do a double knot. When you're going around the nails, you can... Like, I think what some people assume is that you're just zigzagging your way across this thing and it's a beautiful design. Don't do that because it will easily get unraveled and you will get super frustrated. So, I'm going to show you. Let's pretend that this is our line. Like, that's a nail, that's a nail, and that's a nail. Okay, this is our string. When we go around it, we're going to loop-de-loop -loop around. We're going to go to the next one, loop-de-loop -loop around loop-de-loop -loop around, and then if you're going back the other direction, continue that loop-de-loop -loop back down there, back over there, and back over there. And so it's going around each nail all the way. So this is the trickiest part, just getting a feel for how tight you have to pull as you're going. Um, you're going to figure out pretty quickly, you have to go, you have to pull it really tight or it's going to unravel and you're going to want to pull out all of your hair. So what I do is just kind of go across, all the way across, just to kind of give you your bearings a little bit. And then we're going to come back, remember, and go around it a second time. So you're going around. <laughs> oh, man. And if your string starts to split, go back. You don't want that to happen. And we're going to go around each one a second time. All the way back to where you started. So if you need to take a break, just make sure you pulled it tight and you pulled it down like that. Okay? And then we're gonna go and we're going to continue the pattern. So I'm looking at my template right here. I'm just gonna go down here 
and I'm going to start to follow this design. Okay? Don't overthink it. You'll see I'm kind of pushing the string down as I go back because the more times you go around a nail, it's going to get thicker and thicker and thicker. So you're going to push it down if you run out of any room. And then we're just going to continue our pattern. That's good. Awesome. And then we've got this one. There is truly no rhyme or reason to this. You can do, you can go over these as many times as you want. I know my hand is probably blocking your view. Here, partner, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna give you a job. Can you hold the string here? Yeah. So it won't get tangled as I go. Okay, so we've got all of that. Then we're gonna go on to the next one. Right? Yeah. All the way out. All the way back. And then if you need to go up. But you guys get the idea, right? Like once you're going around the nail, and then we're going to go up and continue our pattern. So Jared, you want to give this a whirl or you want to let me yeah. just knock it out? No, I want to try. <laughs> it looks fun. It is fun, Jared. I gotta say. <laughs> See. I like it. Okay. So we're gonna go there. Yeah. Make sure I Good don't handoff. Lose it there. there. Okay. Uh -huh. See what I can do here. Alright, so you think I should go to here based on the pattern? I would go like there and then back up through all that. Oh, okay, I see. And you can go around it as many times as you need. So it's harder for guys because you guys have bigger hands. <laughs> so it's it's tricky. Okay, so I got that. You can do it. Here. So let me see here. There we go. You just back out on the what do we call these spines or something? I don't know. Spines. The tops of the nails. No, the uh, <laughs> the. Um, Oh. Arms of the snowflake, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I. In the background, asked. I was like, Tick -tock! <laughs> <laughs> an eagle? I don't know. <laughs> How many times did you go over this? Um, just once for now, and then you'll go. Okay. Let's see. There we go. So what do you think? Is this harder than you thought it was going to be? It's uh, <laughs> challenging, for sure. But it's fun. I don't know. It's uh, different. It is. So how many times did you go? You went once over each of those. So mm -hmm. And then you'll have to wrap around that guy again. Back here. And then back down the way. And then push down like you were talking about. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. And then go there. And then we're going to go up to that. Okay. All right. Okay, so maybe at this point let's hold it up okay. and show everyone kind of what it looks like. So at this point, you're starting to see the design come together. It does not have to be all even and symmetrical. Like you'll see this one, there's just one thread going through here. This one has two. This one has like five. It's okay because we're gonna go back over this design once it's all figured out. Yeah. So don't stress about that part. But from here on, we're just gonna continue our pattern, continue our design until we have it all done. All right, so I think I should probably head back over this again because you, you, you doubled up on that one. So I think I'm gonna do Can't that. Can't hurt, play jazz with oh, it. Oh man. Uh, my giant fingers. Does this remind you of Operation at all? Oh, yeah. Go, <coughs> Thank you. That's what it was. I knew it was something. Jeez. Okay. It's tricky. You, you want me to take over for a little bit? Yeah.
No, I got this. <laughs> There's uh, no shame in admitting that you need some help from I your do. lady. From my from my my significant other. You know, bail me out here, because <laughs> okay. okay, I got us back to the center. Let's let a trained professional take over here. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, no, it's awesome. It's looking good. We're like halfway there. It's looking you really got good. This. I like it. Here's a problem you may run into. This nail is not in far enough, and it's wiggling on me. So if that happens, you show that nail who's boss, and you just get back to business. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's looking good. Good job. So where do you think we should display our snowflake in our home? Uh, the mantle. I think so, too. Think Front and center. Yeah. First thing possible. everyone sees. Right above the stockings. Mm-hmm. So much symbolism. No two snowflakes are the same. Yeah. So how many times do you think we should go over each of these? So I would say, so at this point... We've got the whole design in place. A snowflake has emerged a for sure. A snowflake is alive. Now, the difference between this one and this one is how many times we've gone over it. So if you're, you've done it once and you're like, you know what? This is a hot mess, but it's hilarious. We're going to keep it this way. What I would recommend is find your way back to the end of where we started. And the reason is... There's a piece of string here that we left there on purpose, and we're going to be using that to tie this all together. So all you have to do is make your way back to that nail. You need to push down can. No, 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 no. We're going to get over here. That looks good. Thanks. I think so too. Okay, so now we're right back where we started. So if you're happy with this and you're like, okay, I'm done. We've had enough fun. Let's go have some wine and chill on the couch. Um, then here's what you're going to do. You are going to find some scissors. And I'm going to let my trusty assistant find those scissors. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And we're going to cut that. Do you need me to help hold that? Maybe. So you're just going to make a little loop around that string. Pull it tight against the nail. And I would do that two different times. So you've got a really tight knot. And then you know what? I would leave that there. So if you want to go back and make it even thicker, great. If you're done, you can trim it. But if you think you're going to go back, maybe later, after you rested, which I get, um, then you can go back and you can always end in the same spot and tie it off with these. And it's going to make your life a lot easier. And you won't have as many free strings all around the place. Okay? Yeah, I like it. Okay. So if you do decide to go thicker with it and go over it a few more times, this is the kind of a difference you can get. Yeah. It looks really good.